Hey everybody, thank you for joining me today. So today's video, we're going to be working on a Friday sketch. So welcome back again. <laughs> All right, so we're going to use this Operation Ride Home sketch uh, number 219. It's one of my faves. I go to it all the time because I just love it and it's so versatile. So we're going to be using Catherine Pooler's um, Cupcakes and Candles collection. Sorry, I had to adjust my camera a little bit. I apologize. Um, okay, so I've got everything kind of laid out here. I'm about to say hello real quick. Where, what am I doing? Here it is. Hello. <laughs> so I want to show you the different papers we're going to be using. Instead of silver, we're going to be working with the gold set. Um, that's from um, Nuvo. And then here are all the papers from the Catherine Pooler collection. You get three sheets of each pattern. So I'm just counting out my three and then moving on to the next one. So that way it doesn't take so long. But it's all in these purples and pinks and plums. But they also have this like dark navy blue color. I like this one, the cupcakes. And then we have the polka dots. So there's a lot of things we can do, right? So um, for this particular card, we're using a base from the gold paper. And then I trimmed down the candle paper to be that first layer we're going to build up on top. And sometimes what I do is some of these sketches, you could technically build right on top of the card base, right? So that lighter gray that's going around the top half could be the card stock. And then you're just putting paper on top, right? So then that way you're working with um, maybe scraps and, you know, papers that you have left over from other collections, which is totally possible. But I always like having it on a foundation, whether it be a base pattern paper or something solid like these gold. This one is a gold. It's almost like brushed. So it's not overly shiny. And I just like how it turned out. And then... We're going to take a strip of gold glitter paper from that same Nouveau collection and we're going to tape that down to cover the little gap between the stripe pattern paper and the candles. So you can never have too many birthday cards, okay? And the one thing that I always wind up doing a lot of my videos is either thank you or birthday and... I realized, yeah, I want more birthday cards. So that's what this series, I think, is going to be all birthday cards. And so um, with the peel-off here that I'm using from my, um, no, Love from Lizzie, it's just a little, I know you're probably like, T, there's enough glitter. You don't have to put in another piece of glitter. You don't. But if you're not inking your edges, sometimes that little strip of um peel off just kind of finishes it so it looks complete okay because this one is all the same stripe it's the all the same width it's the the wider um of the pinstripe ones and so i like using that in that way so where i put the gold paper and for the pattern paper it just kind of finishes that off and then we're going to grab some foam tape and we're going to uh pop up the sentiment which I used a punch a two and a half inch circle punch now you could go a step farther with this like say you had um like a two and what did I say two and a half maybe you have one that's two and three fourths you know and you could create a mat for your sentiment as well so there's things you can do um I tend to use a lot of my punches for my card videos because it's just easier and convenient to have it real quick um, but if you have die cutting machines you can just do a bunch of circle cutouts and just have them already prepared and ready to go and you can just grab them out stamp them and keep it moving so I, I, I don't think you can have too many pre-cut circles um, especially for sentiments like this now this um, Nouveau drop is a newer one that I got from my little scrapbook store and I'm going to try and read it. Ooh, I don't know why I always try to read it without my glasses first and it never works. Um, okay, so this one is called 
gold dust okay and this is a glitter drop and what i found with this one when i first got it it seemed like it had separated so i've done a lot with like rubbing it you saw me shake it a little bit because i'm trying to get it to mix up because it's a beautiful like black and gold so you see the first one i did it's a little bit more see-through there you don't see a lot of the black and the gold glitter whereas after I shook it up a little bit the second one it came out a lot better okay so here are some close-ups thank you guys so much for um, hanging with me today and um, please consider hitting that like subscribe and share button um, leave a comment down below I always look forward to your comments and I will see you guys with our next video have a great weekend